previously untouched land is being explored more and more every day, and what's being found is beyond our wildest imagination. Not only are we finding incredible things, but science is allowing us to understand them. From a perfectly preserved ginger mammoth to a 57,000 year old wolf puppy, here are the 20 most incredible things found frozen in ice. Amazing Ginger Mammoth Woolly mammoths are awe-inspiring, weighing up to 8 tons, about twice the size of today's elephants. Their size and strength are hard to imagine. However, one of the most amazing mammoths ever discovered was only 6 feet long. Yuka is the first and only ginger mammoth ever found, and it has provided new information about the life and death of the beast, and is said to be like a time machine into the past. The 10,000-year-old carcass is the most well-preserved of any ever found and shows evidence that it may have been killed by humans. The animal was between 3 and 4 years old at the time of death, and its shaggy ginger coat seemed to be as bright as it was when wandering Siberia's ice surface. Even its eyes, foot pads, and internal organs are intact. The carcass was discovered by tusk hunters in the ust yangtze region of Yakutia the most remarked part of Siberia, who turned it over to scientists. It has two clean cuts on its back and several bones are missing, including its spine, skull, ribs, and pelvis. Luckily, the skull was found nearby and scientists observed a long straight cut, what stretches from its head to the middle of its back, as well as a strange pattern cut on its right side that is believed to have been made by a primitive saw tool. Because it appears to be too precise to be made by a predator, Scientists have concluded it must have been done by a human, opening the door to the idea that humans could have contributed to their extinction long before they were eventually wiped out. 40,000 year old horse In the coldest city in the world, scientists have found a previously undiscovered horse species, and it's more than 40,000 years old. The horse is a two month old foal of the extinct Lanskave species called a Lena horse and its remains are immaculate. It's so well preserved that its hair is intact and blood samples were extracted from it. And scientists hope to clone it. Standing only 36 inches tall, the horse was pulled from a crater known as the Mouth of Hell. And because the body doesn't have any significant wounds, it's believed to have died by drowning after falling through the ice. It was found buried 100 feet down in the ice, and the permafrost completely preserved the body, including its organs. Unbelievably, scientists were able to collect its bowel contents to learn what its diet consisted of, hopefully. That would be truly amazing. To clone the animal, scientists would need to get usable cells from the blood samples and grow them in a lab. That is a very difficult task. After more than 20 attempts to grow the cells, they're no further ahead. But the team is optimistic that technology will advance soon enough to make it easier to perform the tasks. Until then, they'll continue to study the tiny horse and will continue to be amazed at what is being found deep in the ice. Luiba the Baby Mammoth Woolly mammoths are among the most iconic animals of the last ice age. For over 100,000 years, they roamed Europe, Asia, and North America before disappearing with countless other large mammals. Luckily for us, we're finding more and more of these amazing creatures to study, and in May of 2007, a Siberian reindeer herder found one. Yuri Kudi and his sons found the frozen remains of the baby mammoth, now known as Luiba, exposed on a sandbar in the Urebe River. And it was a near-perfect specimen, the skin, hair, and even eyelashes were still present, and scientists were able to explore her DNA, internal organs, and even her last meal. Her stomach was full of milk and plants. They determined she was just 35 days old and lived almost 42,000 years ago and died by suffocation in the mud. Because of the amazing preservation of the body, a $15 million investment was made by a gene editing company with hopes by using her DNA to make an elephant mammoth hybrid by creating embryos in a lab and planting them in a surrogate mother or using an artificial womb. The teams of researchers think that within just six years, a set of calves could be born. The calves would be cold-resistant elephants that would look and behave like mammoths. They could live in temperatures reaching minus 40 degrees Celsius and do all the things that elephants and mammoths do. Science is truly amazing. Brought back to life. 
The Siberian permafrost hasn't only provided us with perfectly preserved animal specimens. Amazing plant life has also been discovered and even brought back to life. The Silene stenophylla plant was brought back to life using seeds buried in the permafrost more than 30,000 years ago, and is now the oldest multicellular living organism on Earth. The reason for the ancient seeds being buried deep in the ice is almost unbelievable. Scientists say that Arctic ground squirrels buried the seeds in burrows found at a depth of 125 feet, causing them to be preserved. Those squirrels really knew how to preserve food. Using placental tissues, they were able to regenerate fertile plants and transplant them into pots in their laboratory. And within a year, the nearly 31,000-year-old plant blossomed, produced fruit, and set seed. The natural cryopreservation of plant tissue proves that permafrost works as a depository for an ancient gene pool, and that has much greater significance. It suggests that life found on Mars or other ice planets could be revived. With plans to colonize Mars in the near future, we might just find out if it's possible. Endurance Most of us know of famous shipwrecks, the Titanic, the Edmund Fitzgerald, and the Lusitania, just to name a few. But there's a long list and many of them have been celebrated in song and in Hollywood movies. One you may not know about is the Endurance, the lost ship of Antarctic explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton. In 2022, it was found at the bottom of the Weddell Sea, after sitting at a depth of 10,000 feet for nearly 110 years. It remains in amazing condition. The ship was crushed by ice and sank in 1915. Shackleton and his 27 crewmen were forced to make an incredible escape on foot and in small boats. They set up primitive camps on ice flows and were heading northward. Eventually, they made it to Elephant Island, where Shackleton and other members of the crew volunteered to take a lifeboat to South Georgian Island and to organize the rescue of the crew left behind. The entire team was rescued months later without a single death. Marine archaeologist Menson Bound says, Without any exaggeration, this is the finest wooden shipwreck I have ever seen by far. It's in a brilliant state of preservation. Research submarines searched the area for two weeks. They were investigating various interesting targets and unexpectedly uncovered the wreck site on the 100th anniversary of Shackleton's funeral, making the find even more historic. Unexpected Animal Life In 2022, scientists encountered something straight out of a science fiction movie. At a depth of 3,000 feet under the ice, they found living creatures. Geologists taking core samples from the seafloor under the Filchner Rhone ice shelf in Antarctica's Weddell Sea discovered what biologists believe are types of living sponges. They were disappointed when they found boulders on the seafloor that prevented them from collecting their samples. Then they noticed colonies of sea creatures attached to the rocks and later determined they were living sea sponges and another stationary animal with long stalks. The discovery baffled the researchers since those types of stationary animals don't hunt their food. They rely on food sources to float by in order to feed. And it was believed that no such sources of food existed at those depths and at those temperatures. They still have no answers as to what they've been feeding on to survive. I'm sure the answers will be as unbelievable as their existence. Secret Pyramids who built the ancient pyramids? That's a question that has raged on for centuries and is a source of fascination for millions of people worldwide. In summer of 2023, satellite images uncovered something that has fueled the debate even further. Mystery pyramids beneath the Antarctic ice. The gigantic pyramid-shaped structures were photographed in the southern region of Antarctica's Ellsworth mountain range. There are several strange-looking peaks in the area. One is estimated to be at least two kilometers in each direction of its square base. A very similar footprint shared by the Great Pyramid of Giza, Egypt. Internet theories regarding the origin of the peaks have gone viral, with one of the most popular being that it belonged to a civilization that existed prior to the Great Flood. Because when Antarctica was warm approximately 10,000 years ago, others say it's just a nun attack a rock peak that's sticking out above a glacier. But what about the seemingly crafted peak resembling ancient pyramids? Skeptics say that just because they have the shape of a pyramid doesn't mean they're built by humans. But who's to say any of the pyramids were built by humans? This debate will rage on until there are boots on the ground and we have more than just satellite imagery to rely on. Ancient Artifacts 
Glaciers in the Swiss Alps are melting and artifacts from a lost time are coming closer to the surface. Swiss police say hundreds of bodies of mountaineers have gone missing will likely be discovered in the near future, adding to what has already been uncovered. In 2017, rescue teams spent hours using ice picks to carve out a mummified body, recovering a silver wristwatch and a ring. After the body was examined, DNA was matched to a German citizen who had gone missing in 1987. A week prior to that, the bodies of a Swiss couple who had been missing for 75 years were found in a nearby glacier. They were the bodies of Marceline and Francine Dumoulin, who had gone missing in August of 1942 after going outside to milk their cows. But wait, there's more. Human remains were found on Mount Blanc that are thought to be part of a person killed in an Air India plane crash more than 50 years ago. Because of global warming, there is no doubt we'll be uncovering more incredible finds in the Alps, and officials may not be prepared for what they'll find. Viking Sword The Norwegian Glacial Archaeology Organization Secrets of the Ice revealed that a 1,200-year-old Viking sword was found by reindeer hunters in Norway, and it's incredible. Experts say the sword dates back as early as 850 AD and was the type used by Viking swordsmen. The blade was rusted, but it was very well preserved due to the extreme cold and low pressure. Two years earlier, a Norwegian hiker named Goran Olsen found an even earlier made Viking sword exposed in the ice. It's from as early as 750 AD. No one can say for sure why these swords were left behind. There have been no bodies or other objects found close by. Regardless, these are amazing finds that take our imaginations back to a time when Vikings roamed, and the best warrior was only as good as his sword. 6,000 year old arrow. In 2020, researchers in Norway found nearly six dozen ancient arrow shafts 240 miles from Oslo and the oldest ones are from around 4100 BC, making them more than 6,000 years old. The ancient arrowheads were made of slate, bone, and quartz, and some were even crafted from sharpened muscle shells. Many of them still had the twine and tar used to attach them to the wooden shaft. According to archaeologist Lars Holger Pilo, the arrows are the oldest artifacts ever found in an ice site in northern Europe. The oldest arrows were broken and heavily weathered, suggesting they had been exposed to the elements at various times, which surprised researchers. Most artifacts found in ice were never exposed to the elements. That's what allows them to be preserved. The area where the arrows were discovered is one of 66 ice sites in Norway. They're responsible for more than 4,000 archaeological finds so far. Based on the rate of melting ice, we can expect that number to grow rapidly in the coming years. And now it's time for our open discussion. This photo was taken by scientists more than 30 years ago after archaeologists accidentally stumbled across it during a dig. They found frozen in ice what no one was supposed to see. The creature was found in northern Siberia and its origin and current location are a mystery. Some have said it's an alien. Others have suggested it's a previously undiscovered type of reptile. Well, what do you think? Do you think the government even knows what it is? If they do, what are they hiding from us? Let us know what you think in the comments section below by using the hashtag OpenDiscussion. And let's get to the bottom of it. Century Old Whiskey We've seen skeletons, ships, ancient weapons, and tools emerge from the icy depths. Would it be a surprise to find ancient food or drink? It certainly was for the conservation team who found five crates of whiskey and two crates of brandy buried deep in the ice under Ernest Shackleton's Antarctic hut. Bottles of McKinley's rare old whiskey and brand were found in pine cases. It's believed they must have been abandoned on Shackleton's failed South Pole expedition. Empty bottles have been found before, but these were the first unopened bottles. The crates are virtually undamaged and the stag head logo is clearly visible on them. Distillers White and McKay want the drink to be analyzed so they can recreate the original blend, calling it a gift from the heavens for whiskey drinkers, and a way to open a door into history. Their team is confident that the crates contain alcohol, claiming it can be heard moving in the bottles when the crates are moved. They also claim you could smell the alcohol at the extraction site. I wonder what a shot of that sells for, I can only imagine. Photographer's 100-year-old notebook 
A photographer's notebook lost for more than a century was discovered in the Antarctic. It doesn't seem possible. And if that isn't amazing enough, the print is still legible. The book emerged from melting snow at the Antarctic hut Captain Robert Falcon Scott used as the base for his 1911 Terra Nova expedition. Scott and two others perished in March 1912. But the book written by British explorer and photographer George Murray Levick lives on. It contains photographs taken during the expedition, as well as a listing of dates, what they were studying, and how the extreme weather was affecting him and the rest of the crew members. They spent months studying one of the world's largest penguin colonies, but became trapped during an unusually harsh winter. Early season ice packs prevented any ships from reaching them. After restoration work was done by New Zealand restorers, the text has remained in very good condition including Levick's name, which is written on the front cover. It was made available in digital format and is being sent back to be displayed with the nearly 11,000 other artifacts secured from the hut. The Glacier Girl On July 15, 1942, six P-38 Lightning Fighter aircraft made an emergency landing on the glaciers of Greenland after flying into an unimaginable blizzard. Nine days later, the crew members were rescued and the planes were left behind. For 50 years, Greenland's shifting ice sheets buried the plains under 300 feet of ice. In 1992, the Glacier Girl, one of those P-38 fighters, was extracted from the ice and brought back to life. It was fully restored, ready to take to the skies. When the plane was first discovered, the search team needed to confirm it wasn't just a large stone or possibly the remains of a prehistoric animal. So they tunneled into the ice using a heat probe to touch it and confirm that it was the missing plane. When the probe emerged from the ice covered in hydraulic fluid, they knew what they had found was one of the planes known as the Lost Squadron. The excavation was filmed and aired on an episode of the History Channel's Mega Mover series titled Extreme Aircraft Recovery. The P-38 returned to the air in October 2002, and an amazing piece of history had life once again. Rare Indian Jewels in 2013, a French mountaineer made a life-changing discovery when he found gems buried in the ice while climbing Mount Blanc. There were approximately 100 stones neatly packed into sachets, and some said made in India on them. The value of the jewels has been estimated at over $330,000. So, where did they come from? Two separate Air India flights crashed in that area, the first in 1950 and the second in 1966. It quickly became clear that the jewels must have been part of the cargo aboard one or both of those flights. The anonymous climber originally turned the box over to police as required by French law, but after attempts were made to locate family members of the rightful owners were unsuccessful. Authorities returned half of the jewels to the mountaineer. What a score! Doing the right thing paid off for him, and his amazing find turned into a very handsome profit perfectly preserved fossil plants. In 1966, U.S. Army scientists dug up an ice core in northwestern Greenland, titled Project Iceworm. It was a top-secret mission to build an underground base to hide hundreds of nuclear warheads, putting them in striking range of the Soviet Union. The Army's cover story for the project was that they were building an Antarctic research station called Camp Century. The operation failed. The base was abandoned, and the ice core was completely forgotten about until it was discovered in a freezer in Denmark in 2017. And what scientists found blew their minds. They discovered fossilized plant fragments thought to have bloomed a million years ago. Researchers have believed that Greenland has been covered in ice for at least the last 3 million years, but the plants tell a different story. They suggest that within the last few hundred thousand years, most of Greenland was ice-free. Based on a study of the isotope ratios of the plants, they were able to date them to within the last million years. And that disproves scientists' estimates that Greenland ice sheets have been basically the same size for the last 2.6 million years. These new findings show that the ice disappeared almost completely from Greenland during at least one period within the last million years, giving them a new threshold for calculating ice sheet stability. Something as simply as a tiny plant fragment can change what we thought we knew about the planet, and that's fascinating to say the least. Children of Yuyayako On the Argentina-Chile border, Johann Reinhardt and his archaeological team found one of the most important archaeological finds in history. 
In March of 1999, near the 22,000-foot summit of the Argentinian volcano, Uyayaco, the bodies of three mummified children were found entombed in a shrine. When archaeologists analyzed hair samples taken from them, they discovered that the children regularly consumed coca leaves and alcohol, with the oldest child dubbed the Maiden having taken far more of these substances than the other two. The children were sacrificed 500 years ago during the Incan Empire. Since coca was a highly controlled substance during that time, scientists concluded that drugs and alcohol were fed to the children in their final months to make them easier to control and participate in the rituals that killed them. More studies will tell us much more about the Inca society, how children were treated, and more about the practice of ritual sacrifice. A piece of meteorite. In the Allen Hills of Antarctica on December 27, 1984, a team of American meteorite hunters found a fragment of a Martian meteorite buried in the ice, labeled Allen Hills 84001. The rock fragment weighs 4.3 pounds and is believed to be one of the oldest Martian meteorites, crystallized from molten rock more than 4 billion years ago. Based on a variety of radiometric dating techniques, the theory is that it was sent from the surface of Mars by meteoric impact nearly 17 million years ago. Reaching Earth almost 13,000 years ago, a second meteorite called Milner Range 03346 was discovered in 2003 in the Miller Range of Antarctica. It weighed 1.5 pounds, far less than the Allen Hills rock. But comparing the bacterial makeup and mineral and chemical signatures may help scientists determine the composition and bacterial makeup of Mars. That would be very useful since humans have been talking about colonizing the red planet, and before too long, it'll be more than just talk. Rare 17-pound meteorite a rare meteorite weighing 17 pounds has been found in a popular meteorite hunting site in Antarctica. Though there have been more than 45,000 space rocks found there, only 100 of them are that large. Being of a large size doesn't necessarily increase their scientific value. It does provide the potential for new data to be discovered. Since there is a much bigger sample to study, for example the largest meteorite ever discovered, the Hoba, is 9 feet long, 9 feet wide and 3 feet thick and weighs 66 tons. That's more than 7,765 times heavier than this 17-pounder, but it doesn't automatically mean it's more valuable in terms of scientific discovery. As we know, good things can come in small packages, and this is an amazing 17-pound find. Otzi the Iceman The Iceman isn't just a nickname for mobsters, there's another type of Iceman at the Museum of Natural History in Vienna. Otzi the Iceman is a 5,300-year-old man whose mummified remains rest comfortably in the museum. Otzi was discovered in 1991 by two hikers in the Alps near the border between Austria and Italy, and is the world's oldest discovered mummy. Since his discovery, he's provided researchers with an incredible view into the lives of people who lived during the Copper Age. An arrowhead was found embedded in his left shoulder, and he suffered many other wounds, leading experts to believe he was murdered but no one has been able to say for sure. What is typically agreed upon is that Otzi lived to be 45 years old, stood 5 feet 3 inches tall, and weighed 110 pounds. A CAT scan revealed that he ate his last meal less than two hours before his death, and he consumed bread, ibex meat, and a couple of slices of another fatty meat, probably bacon from a mountain goat. Amazingly, tests were able to confirm that Otzi had tattoos, 61 of them to be exact, and in May 2012, scientists discovered that he had intact blood cells, the oldest complete human blood cells ever identified, and they have the same dimensions as living red blood cells and resembled a modern-day sample. As technology advances, we will continue to learn from studying Otzi, and we may learn he wasn't that different from us. I mean, we already know he likes bacon. 57,000-year-old wolf puppy Man's best friend was found frozen in the permafrost in Canada's Yukon Territory. Well, not exactly. But in 2016, a gold miner stumbled across the mummified remains of a 57,000-year-old female wolf pup. The pup was a gray wolf or Canis lupus, very similar to those living today. Scientists confirmed she was between 6 and 7 weeks old and likely died when her den collapsed. Her diet consisted of mostly fish, which surprised researchers. They expected her diet to be made up of mostly oxen and bison. The find is quite rare because mummified bodies with preserved hair, skin, and flesh like her 
are incredibly rare in North America. She can be seen on display at the Yukon's Beringia Interpretive Center in Whitehorse. If you're in the area, it's definitely worth the visit. She's an amazing specimen. And there you have it, from a 57,000 year old wolf puppy to a perfectly preserved ginger mammoth. That was the 20 most incredible things found frozen in the ice. Which find was the most incredible? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.